Hello there dear YouTubers, my name is King1993 and today I'll be talking about another uh, weapon in this game and these weapons are called anti mecha weapon. So without further ado, let's get started. There are total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 anti mecha weapons in this game. Now this one, you could say that this is not only an anti mecha rather anti uh, pilot weapon as well, uh, but it goes both ways, especially it does a lot more damage to the uh make us than it does to the pilots okay so that's the thing now let's talk about the grenade launcher and this explorer ball now this grenade launcher is a weapon that basically shoots grenades and it hits them sometimes it can bounce off a certain surface and then hit Net the you. other places now whenever it contacts with a uh, mecha it will not bounce off rather it will do damage immediately as you can see but when it doesn't actually hit the mecha and it just bounces off from one place to another it basically explodes wherever it lands the second impact okay so if i were to shoot it here it will jump and then it will go to the long distance place so yeah you can also destroy your enemy by surprise if you just keep on shooting in this place and the uh red launcher and finally ends up going in some places now the reason why this uh, weapon is called a mid-range weapon is because its range is actually very limited Net about 100 meters it doesn't go longer than that now i do not know whether 100 meter is actually a mid-range or not but all i can say that because of its limit you cannot actually use it efficiently because also another factor is that its overall what should i call it uh short velocity is extremely slow so that's the thing now another thing uh, with these two weapon is that wherever the aim is you have to hit a little bit lower for example i try to hit the chest but i am aiming at lower the chest uh, why did this happen i do not know maybe it is one of those uh developer uh, decision thing like uh, this weapon will definitely hit the maker but you have to aim it a little bit lower something like that so because of these two reasons that these are mid-range weapon after a certain distance it will basically fall on the ground another problem is they are aiming you have to aim a little bit lower in order to actually do something that is the whole reason why i do not like these two weapon exploder board and these uh, grenade launcher but these are not the bad option these are basically like not the best option it is a good option but not a very best option when you are dealing with a fast action game such as uh, team deathmatch okay team deathmatch everything is fast you have to make quick decisions to actually destroy your mecha otherwise you are your mecha is the one which is gonna get destroyed okay now exploder bot is basically a bot that basically shoots the same way as the uh, grenade launcher but the thing about this thing is it will basically go up to a hundred meters and then Target it will explode whenever it sees a certain enemy pilot or enemy maker nearby as you saw that it basically saw the firefox nearby and it started to attack firefox and and the amount of damage it does about uh 570 that is a lot of damage but when you try to use it on pilot it will definitely do a lot less okay and no matter where you shoot it just basically ends up going in some other places and as you can see here the range of uh what should i call it tracking is actually very high uh mid-range uh, uh what should i call it mid-range tracking so anything that is within the mid-range of your uh place of standing it is gonna hit any of the enemy pilot or enemy mecha easily okay this is one of those weapons where you let's say there are enemy uh, at the side of a building or a corner somewhere you can basically hit a certain place there and the rest of the other place it will just go crawling towards the enemy and eventually hit them so this is a very good weapon if you want to hit an enemy without uh, the enemy hitting you back okay these two weapon falls into that uh, category of uh, ricochet ricochet basically means uh, hitting in one place and going to another place it's like a bouncing type of thing so, so when it comes to bouncing type of weapon 
this granite launcher and bot explorer are a very good option but when it comes to direct attacking the enemies this these two are not a very good option okay now i had to get these two out first because these two uh, weapons are very annoying to explain now let's talk about the homing missiles and and the hydra missiles okay now homing missiles if you use it on the training ground you will see no improvement nothing but if you were to use the swimming uh, missiles in the team deathmatch or let's say battle royale, you will definitely see that this uh, homing missiles is actually very good. Now, how much good it is? Its a range of uh, accuracy, sorry, its uh, its accuracy of shooting is extremely high, like up to more than 200 meters. So, whichever uh, mecha or enemy pilot you see, it is definitely gonna be able to hit them very easily about uh, 100 to 200 meters away okay and when it comes to shooting let's say the pilot it will do about 100 yeah i tested it even on the team deathmatch and battle world it does about 100 damage to the uh, pilot but when it comes to the mecha it does about 820 it does about 820 amount of damage. So when it comes to the amount of damage it does, this is my uh, first option whenever I try to go in a team deathmatch in fighting enemies. And most of this score I do in my pilot form, I use uh, this gun to make sure that the enemy makers actually get hit, okay? So afterwards uh, that comes for short range, I use this smart explorer gun. Now this a smart explorer gun is considered as a homing type of a gun as well but it doesn't do homing uh, attack as much as good as these homing missiles which is why I just use this uh, weapon whenever I see enemies nearby otherwise I do not use this weapon in extremely long range okay now <sighs> obviously this one has one round this one has 12 rounds so obviously the smart explorer gun is a very good option for mid to short range of attack now if you want to do the maximum amount of damage to any of the mecha in a matter of as shortest time as possible then this hydra gun is another option but the only problem with this hydra gun is it is good up to 100 meters afterwards it's aim it's going to be extremely bad what do i mean by that let's say i try to hit that firefox over there okay now i try to shoot all of them now out of all nine you will see that not all of them are gonna be getting hit okay out of, out of, out of nine there was only five uh five rounds that actually got hit why because the thing is the hydra gun is basically a fastest what should i call it the fastest uh anti mecha weapon in this game okay now, even though it is a fastest anti mecha weapon, the second fastest anti mecha weapon in this game, the accuracy is extremely bad, which is why I do not use this weapon in even in team deathmatch or even in battle royale. Okay, like I do not have faith in this hydra gun, but when it comes to this a smart explorer gun or these moving missiles, I have faith in them so much that you could say that if I were to uh, let's say blink during the team deathmatch, I can still guarantee myself that these weapons are gonna be hitting the mecha 100 percent okay Target so that is basically it for this weapon like when it comes to the uh, bouncing capabilities uh, this grenade launcher and this explorer explorer bot launcher is a very good option but there is no guarantee that you will be able to hit your enemies very easily because they bounce off that's the thing and if you are not careful and you aim exactly where your Carcel is you're not going to be able to hit the enemy pilot or the enemy mecha So these two weapon are the last weapon which I would choose Now what is the first weapon would I choose if I were to be in a battle royal or in a team deathmatch The first weapon I would choose for a long range weapon that is is the homing missiles and for a short range weapon I would choose the smart exploder gun, okay? Now, when it comes to the Hydra gun, even if I were to give an option to use this Hydra missiles or whatever this thing is called, I'd still rather not use this because this is not my best in slot weapon because in uh, mid range and in long range, this weapon is almost useless 
this weapon is only good in a short range but in short range this smart exploder gun is still a better option compared to these hydra missiles okay so that is overall my conclusion of which type of weapon i use in, in this game to actually make sure that i can get as much as uh, skill as possible with this anti mecha weapon now another thing that there is uh, i forgot to mention is when i am in a team deathmatch i do the following thing so what is the following thing that i do so let's say i am not in a mecha form let's say i am in a pilot form so whenever i am in a pilot form what i do is i equip myself or my character or whatever it is avatar maybe with these homing missiles and once i have equipped the homing missiles onto this pilot i jump on this trampoline and then aim at them and once i am near them i immediately change into a mecha and then i start attacking them. now normally it seems like this is not possible normally it seems like it is not possible because how would anyone stay in that same place for a very long period of time trust me in a team death match they are so much confused that you'll be able to do the same technique at, as i did to them on a regular and continuous basis uh, okay now i do not know why this happens uh, but sometimes it seems like my mecha uh, get discolored for some reason anyway this is overall my total conclusion of which type of uh, weapon you should be using on a team deathmatch or in a, a battle royale to make sure that you can get as much as a kill as possible okay if you like this video then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis goodbye and stay safe